welcome students now we are in the another session of design tool workshop course in the first we discuss about microsoft word now this is powerpoint so when you open the powerpoint first of all every system is having by default this software okay now when you open the powerpoint it will for some students it may uh, open this window you have to select blank presentation option to start the first document in the ppt ppt means nothing but powerpoint okay now this is the first slide of your powerpoint it is easy only somewhat like your microsoft word you can see home insert there are some different some few more options are available here like animation slide show record why because in powerpoint we present something in more beautiful way our presentation becomes very much good how by putting some kind of animations by changing the layout and design correct now in the first very first slide you find here what is your title suppose we are dealing with the subject design tool workshop so our title is design tool workshop design tool workshop okay now click to add subtitle if you want you can put otherwise you can delete also suppose i am putting something or something that is be session 2 okay now i want to change the size so how i can change the size of this so here you can see at present it is 60 font size i can increase decrease how this is another option as i told you to increase the font size select here it is changing increasing correct now you can see it came in the two lines i want this design tool workshop be written in the one line only so drag this bring your cursor here and drag this i can see here i want to move it up drag this put your cursor here drag this up okay in the same way session 2 i want this also suppose bold in color bold okay i want italic okay i want underline okay then i want to change the font color okay this is good okay so these are the things you are doing here now coming to next slide so here there is option new slide click on it which kind of slide you want to select it is asking i want title and content now title and content my title will be small at the top remaining portion will be for content okay now title i want to put something suppose i want to make some biodata so my title is biodata okay now this is left side i want to put it in the center select this come to this option center you can use shortcut also or you can use this also, tool also now write here something first i will write name okay next i will write qualification next what i can write contact correct now you can see here by default this bullets are coming by default it is selected like this kind of bullet now if i want to change the bullet select the text and you can change here what kind of bullet you want which you looks good i am selecting this you can change you can select any one your wish okay i'll put some details here next again a new slide i can do or duplicate also i can do if i will do duplicate what is the difference same thing content will come here but if i'll do new slide click title and content means title and content side new slide has came you can type whatever you want or here you can change 
both options are ready with you. Now coming to different options available here. In the home you can see here the new slide, layout, preset, section, shapes, different shapes whatever you want to put. Okay, I have selected rectangle, I have just drag here and move my mouse. I have plotted one rectangle. Now I am selecting this shape. I will put my cursor, I will just drag it ready. Now here color is blue, I want to change the color. So I can change it, see. I can change from here, here plenty of things are available, whatever you want to select, you can select. Likewise word art, everything, shape fill, fill is in orange color, I want to change. See, it is changing, I can change the shape fill. Outline also I can change, like this effect also I can change. So these are the options which you can try here, okay. Here are the shapes. Now insert, again you can insert table, picture, some screenshot available in your system. Header and footer, header and footer means at the top and at the down side. So page number you can see in the books, page numbers are written. That are footer, correct? So like this header and footer can be there, word art, all these things are available here. Symbols, media also you can insert if you have any media, okay? Draw, design, different templates of this. See, you can see my template is changed, another template. So whichever template you want, you can select. Plenty of templates are available. Whatever you want, you can select, okay? Next, the important thing is here is animation. This is important. So we will see the use of animation. Here different types of animations are available. What is this? So let us see. First, I have selected my biodata. I want first biodata to appear, a sequence. I selected appear. Next, I selected name should come. But here, I am selecting another type of animation. Next, fly in. So you can see the effect, how it is coming. Float in. Next, split. Next, wipe. So this is the thing. Now all the things are showing in the one time only, simultaneously. So to see the change made, I am selecting the first slide. Now here in the downside, you can see option slide show, click here. Now press your arrow button, see, sec second slide nothing is visible. But there was some content if you remember. What was the content? Biodata. Next, name, how it is coming. Next, how qualification has appeared. Next, contact slowly. Next, it came from both the side and joined in the center. This is another way. This is another way. So this is how the animation works. This is the important thing about PPT presentation. Hope I am clear. Okay, here you can select, give timings also for how much time or thing you want. Recordings also you can do. You can record something. You, when you want to begin recording, when you want to end. So all these things you can practice here, one by one. It is very interesting, dear friends. Okay. So once you try each and every options and make a beautiful biodata, first using Word, the next using PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, everything keep in different slides, okay? Make number of slides, use different fonts, different styles, make how much beautiful you can make it. If there is some images are there in your system, you can insert the pictures to make it more beautiful, okay? If any doubts, you can ask me. Otherwise, over for today. Thank you. We will meet in our next session.